This is module one, lesson 17. Today's objective was to model the relationship between multiplication and division. Number one, use the array to complete the related equations. I first see I have one times four, which tells me I have one row of four. One row of four gives me a total of four bugs. I'm taking my total and moving it into my division problem again as my total. So I have four divided by the size of four in one group, which gives me one group of four bugs. Next I have two groups of four or two rows of four. When I look at those rows of bugs, I see I have eight total bugs. I'm going to take that total and move it over to my division problem to give me another total of eight bugs divided into fours, which gives me two groups of four bugs. Now I see that I have a total of 12. So I have to count four, eight, 12. There are my 12 bugs. When I look at my rows, I see I have three rows of four, which gives me 12. 12 has moved over to my division problem. We're dividing those 12 into equal groups of four. When I see equal groups of four, I have three equal groups of four. Again, now I have 16, eight, four, eight, 12, 16. Here are my bugs. I have now four rows of four, moving my total over, 16 divided by four is four. That's the factor that was missing. Now I have a total of 20. If you've noticed, each time I've gone down another row, so this should give me 20. Let's count. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, and it does give me 20. My rows are now five. The size of each row is four. My 20 is moving over to the total. From every other problem I notice, I'm dividing by my size. So I'm gonna divide 20 divided by four, which gives me groups of five. Try the rest on your own using the examples we've done together to help you fill in the missing numbers and make sure you use those bugs to help you count.